guys, welcome back. I actually decided to film what I ate in a week. I don't think I've ever successfully filmed a video like this on my channel. I really like watching these types of videos, but I've never filmed one just because it's a lot to commit to, but it's actually the end of the week right now. I'm filming the intro after I've already filmed the entire week. So I can successfully say that I filmed Monday through Friday, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And I'm just really excited to share it with you guys because I'm somebody that loves cooking and I also really like to switch up my meals. So hopefully you guys can find some sort of recipe inspo in today's video. Most of them are really quick and easy recipes, but really, really good because I'm a pretty picky eater. Like I really like to enjoy the food that I'm eating and I feel like being on a fitness journey and being somebody that really prioritizes how I feel and I love cooking at home. I love having like fruits and vegetables with my meals. I really want to like actually enjoy them so that I want to continue to eat at home. Not that I don't eat out or anything like that, but today's video, we definitely stayed home a little bit more than we usually do. I feel like it was a really, really chill, productive week. And we did go out to eat on Friday and I filmed that, but every single week is just completely different as you guys know if you watch the vlogs. And I do eat intuitively if you guys are new. I also work out, I'm a CPT, so I'm super, super passionate about fitness. So I aim for higher protein meals, Sometimes I do pre-workout, post-workout snacks. I didn't film any snacks throughout the week because I didn't want it to get repetitive. And same with my coffee because I legit have the same coffee every single morning the second that I wake up. So if I ever like go straight to a workout or something, just know I have my latte in my system at that point. But you guys already know that for sure. But yeah, I just thought it would be fun. You guys can definitely expect more videos like this in 2024 and just more creative videos. I'm having fun with filming different things but let's get into it i don't want to talk your ear off but before i go i'm not a dietitian i'm not trying to teach anybody anything about nutrition i'm still learning myself and this is just for fun okay happy monday i start every single day with a collagen latte i just do half oat milk half cashew milk for some fat one scoop of collagen maple syrup and then a double shot espresso it really depends if i'm gonna have a snack before my workout this day i was going to spin at seven so i just didn't wake up hungry listen to your own body obviously but that's just what i did then i came home and had a post-workout smoothie this is one of my favorite high protein breakfasts. it's a smoothie recipe that's not as typical as you normally see i actually do peaches and cream so i start with oat milk and then i add some protein i use the trevani vanilla protein that's the same brand as my collagen and then I put some frozen fruit and frozen banana I like using frozen fruit frozen fruit is typically frozen right at peak ripeness So it's actually sweeter and has a lot of nutrients also helps with the texture and same with this cottage cheese It makes it thick and creamy with adding some fat and protein Then I added some chia seeds for fiber some maple syrup to sweeten it up and some cinnamon Then I also added rice cauliflower which sounds really weird, but I just wanted to add some veggies in there I actually prefer this over kale or spinach and it doesn't really have a flavor, but it does make it a little bit more creamy so definitely try it so that was my breakfast it definitely hold me over for a bit since it was high protein and had some fiber for lunch i rarely like to cook i always heat up leftovers or meal prep if you guys saw my last sunday reset video i actually meal prepped fajita bowls even just doing one quick meal prep a week actually helps me so much more i try to do this once a week it just makes my weeks go so much smoother and i'll heat up my meal prep and then add something fresh on top or on the side i feel like when i do this it just kind of brightens up the meal makes it a little bit more exciting so i'll add some toppings some avocado some lettuce herbs anything that i have in my fridge really that goes on top i will do that and that was my lunch this is what it looks like after i heated it up I just added some greens on top, microgreens, lettuce, and then I put avocado, some lime, and then I did red and green sauce, the siete red and green sauce, and then I'm also going to have this ginger shot. Okay, we're at my favorite part of the night. I love pouring myself an olipop and a wine glass, just romanticizing cooking dinner. I used to be somebody that didn't even like to cook, so if that's you, just know that there's hope, and maybe one day you'll actually enjoy it like I do. I feel like it's part of my night routine at this point, and I love trying new fun recipes, and it just feels like you're going out to eat, but it's in your own kitchen. I definitely plan what I'm going to make for dinner at the beginning of the week, grocery shop, and just have it ready in the fridge. Have it planned. This is so crucial. I always have decision fatigue at the end of the night, and trying to figure out what what you want to have for dinner is impossible so just plan it at the beginning of the week it really helps and this ended up being one of my favorite meals we will definitely add this to the weekly rotation and then i had some ice cream which i do like every night this is gonna be my pre-workout we have almond butter banana toast and strawberries and chicken sausage so we have protein carbs fat and fiber in this meal so hopefully it'll keep me full till the end of my workout but gonna enjoy this 
Okay, after my workout, I took a shower, did some work, and then I made some lunch. I had another meal prep. I can honestly only eat the same meal twice in one week. I will not stay consistent with having healthy recipes if I don't enjoy them. So finding the recipes that you really, really enjoy might help you. Okay, we're back with our nightly Olipop. I decided to make one of my go-to meals for dinner this night. I have made spaghetti bolognese probably 50,000 times in our kitchen, and it's honestly our favorite recipe, especially because we have made it so many times. We know exactly how we like it. I always do fresh Parmesan on top. This just makes it so much better, and Parmesan is one of my favorite foods, so why would I ever skip it? We also love to eat brown rice noodles. They're naturally gluten-free, and I try to eat gluten-free as much as I can. It makes my stomach feel better, and we just really, really like them. We use the brand Jovail and then we just heat that up on the stove while I make my side salad. I just keep it really simple. If I'm ever gonna make a side salad, I'll chop up some cucumbers. I really like English cucumbers because they're really crunchy. And then I like using spring mix. Don't forget to massage any lettuce that you use with olive oil. It makes it so much easier to digest and just way easier to eat. I like adding lemon to my salads and also red wine vinegar, especially if it's Italian. I'll also add Italian seasonings on top, like basil or just an Italian seasoned blend that I get at Trader Joe's. Also, I add a little bit of fresh Parmesan on top of the salad as well. At the end of the day, I just try to add as much color to my meals and also enjoy them. That way, I will actually crave them and want to eat them again. This is our favorite pasta sauce. It's the Rayo's Spicy Arabiata. It's so good. We like to add ground turkey. I used to do the 99% lean ground turkey, but it is so much better when we do the like 93%, I think it is. Add some fat to the meal. It keeps me fuller for longer and it tastes honestly 10 times better. So that is a little life hack we've learned along the way. We just plated that up, had our side salad, and it was so freaking good. Happy Wednesday. I ended up waking up early this day, going to the gym and doing an upper body day. I ended up making the same breakfast I've been having all week. I'm sorry if this is repetitive, but it's actually very realistic. Whenever we grocery shop, I really try to eat all of the groceries that we get. And I don't really mind having repeat breakfast. It just makes it easy when I wake up. I'm like, okay, I know what I'm gonna make. I don't have to think. And most of the time I want a sweet breakfast. So there's not that many options that I can run to. So I just have my peanut butter banana toast. I heated up more chicken sausage on the side to add some protein to the meal. And obviously, I'm not talking about how much I eat in this video, it's just what I ate. And I listened to my own body, not anybody else's. So I thought that was important to mention. It's the middle of the week. It's Wednesday right now. I'm about to make some lunch, just heating up leftovers. But I just wanted to like pop in here since it is the middle of the week and just say, usually this is when like our fridge starts to get pretty empty. So I've actually found that grocery shopping in the middle of the week again just really helps like not feel like you're kind of running out of groceries by the end of the week even when i watch a lot of these videos this is where people start to feel like oh i don't really know what to make and then i think that's when the decision fatigue kind of starts to get annoying if you're like i don't even know what to make and then maybe that will correlate to unintentionally skipping a meal because you just don't want to like think about what to make or usually i'll like run out the door and go get something which then takes a lot more time and everything so I will probably grocery shop tonight before I cook dinner. I don't know what we're gonna make tonight, but I just wanted to share that little tip because it actually has helped me a lot with just trying to figure out what to eat and coming up with new recipes and stuff. But I'm about to heat this leftovers up. It actually was really good last night and I'm excited. So I'm gonna see if Hunter wants some. And that is gonna be my lunch today. I will say that some dinners do not heat up well the next day. And I feel like it's really just trial and error trying to figure out what meals you actually like to heat up the next day for leftovers but i just had this this is like a medium favorite of mine to heat up the next day it's better if you add a little bit more pasta sauce to it so it's not dry but i just ate that while i did a little bit of work on my computer and then i looked on pinterest to get some inspo for what i wanted to cook the rest of the week since like i said i'm in a grocery shop again tonight we landed on doing burgers tonight. This is really simple, but this is one of my favorite meals to make at home. If anybody knows Hunter and I, you know that we are addicted to In-N-Out. We eat In-N-Out way more than anybody else that I know, and we wanted to recreate the In-N-Out burgers at home. Same with their french fries, so I ended up getting a white sweet potato and chopping that with kind of a thicker cut, not too thick. I don't like french fries to be too thick and honestly most people hate the in and out fries so i doubt any of you are going to recreate this but just make them a little bit more thick and then i added some olive oil shook that up and added some sea salt i like using celtic sea salt and then i just added some parsley which gave it a little bit more of a gourmet vibe it was really good air fried those at 400 for 25 minutes until they were crunchy and then i also made a fry sauce this night with some roasted onion yes you have to add the roasted onion into the fry sauce i just did ketchup 
up and mayo. Hunter was disgusted by it at first when he saw me making it, but I was like, this is what In-N-Out sauce is, and he ended up loving it. So we just made our burgers medium rare, which we like. Ended up doing like little sliders, and I just did mine in a lettuce bun tonight. Also, you have to do a side pickle, so that was our dinner. It was really good. This morning I had spin pretty early and like I said before, I don't like to eat too much before I spin. It really just depends how hungry I wake up, but I love having electrolytes before my workout, during my workout or after. I notice a huge difference with my muscle fatigue if I have electrolytes before. I also took my supplements in the morning, ate a little bit of this Trevani banana bread bar and also took a gem daily vitamin. Okay, this is kind of like a brunchy lunch just because I had the protein bar earlier this morning, went to spin and then I actually had a meeting. so. I'm just now eating, it's about 12. I have a cup of cottage cheese. We have four of these chicken sausages. These are the Applegate ones that I've been eating all week. And then I have a peanut butter banana toast with cinnamon. So just really wanted to fuel up on carbs, protein, fat, get it all in because obviously it's like a little bit late in the day and I usually don't love to do that. I don't know what gave me the motivation or energy, but I really wanted to make dessert before I started cooking dinner so that the dessert was ready right after we finished eating. We usually continue to sit at the dinner table and have our dessert after we eat and just talk after Hunter and I, so I don't know. I just felt like having something special tonight. He loves peanut butter chocolate chip cookies, so I ended up making those from scratch. It was actually really, really easy. So I just looked up a healthier chocolate chip cookie and ended up adding some peanut butter to it. I love going on Gathered Nutrition's website and looking at her recipes. They always give me inspo, and then I just try and kind of go as I cook, make it my own. And after doing this, I realized I actually want to start cooking more desserts at home. I don't ever bake or do anything sweet. But this was really fun and relaxing and something to look forward to after having dinner. And then we continued to eat these throughout the rest of the week and they were so good. I will put the recipe that I used to a tea in the description box because you guys have to make these. They were so good and like almost chewy but fluffy. They were the perfect consistency. I wish I could eat these right now. I'm gonna go make these after I finish this video. And then for our actual dinner tonight, I was not feeling cooking and honestly I had zero appetite. Nothing sounded good, all I wanted was the cookies, but while they were cooking, we ended up trying buffalo chicken bowls, and they ended up being really, really good. We just did some white rice with rotisserie chicken that I got at Sprouts. I put buffalo sauce on top, I put cheese in Hunter's, and then sour cream in mine. I love sour cream, so that's just what I wanted to make mine a little bit creamier, and both were really good, so whatever you prefer. Honestly, just heated them up in the microwave, which is gonna disgust a lot of people, especially because it's chicken but I just couldn't even attempt putting it on the stove. I was so tired this night. As you can see, we were eating at 8 p.m. and we had just walked Coco, we were tired and it ended up being really, really good. And then obviously after we had dinner, we had the dessert, which were 12 out of 10, which I already said. So that was our Thursday night dinner. For a snack before I made my lunch, I had some cookies. These, I'm telling you guys, were so good, especially because I put them in the fridge last night. For some reason, I like them cold, but I just had some leftovers for lunch. Honestly, not my best lunch. I was kind of like, uh, by the end of eating this, not a fan of 
microwave chicken more than once a week. But it got the job done and then we got ready for dinner. You guys know we go on a date every single Friday. We have so much fun picking new restaurants and we were actually trying a new pizza place this night. If you're ever in the Orange County area, you guys have to try it. It's called Truly and it's in Dana Point. So we drove probably like 40 minutes away just to get to this restaurant because it was Friday night. So there was a lot of traffic through Laguna. But of course we took the scenic route. We stopped, we went to the beach before. We do this like every single Friday. We love to romanticize our date nights. We started with an Italian salad, which was so good and like spicy. Then we got the focaccia vodka pasta. Okay, it is Saturday morning, just finished up this video. So I wanna give some tips with fitness in today's video because I personally feel that fitness and nutrition go hand in hand. And I just wanted to share also why I focus on wellness and why I prioritize having a balanced lifestyle, feeling my best, feeling myself, moving my body every week because I've watched a million of these videos and I feel like sometimes we can just assume things before actually just chatting with someone. So. I just wanted to say that I work out and I focus on adding in nutrients in my life to feel better. I have struggled with anxiety for a long time. I've struggled with my confidence for a long time. And I've also struggled with physically feeling bleh. Like I have videos up on my channel about my fitness journey and tips that I have for it and stuff where I touch on this more. But there was definitely a time in my life where I would wake up. I felt lethargic. I felt anxious. I felt not excited to go cook a meal. I honestly felt annoyed every single time it hit breakfast, lunch, or dinner to try and figure out where I was going to go pick up food or what I was going to quickly throw together in my kitchen. And nine times out of 10, I would eat something and it wouldn't make me feel good. So I've also gone through many stages of my fitness journey and having different motives with wanting to be healthier. Um, obviously that's going to be different for every single person, but I will say that after going through so many phases of my fitness journey, the happiest I've ever been is when I put the looks aside, when I put all the external factors of fitness and wellness, and I really truly focus on within, and I don't compare myself. I don't watch social media and watch what I eat in a week and think, oh, they cooked way more than me this week. Oh, their meals look so much more aesthetic than me. They took more time for breakfast. They blah, 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 blah. Same thing with fitness. I'm not watching a fitness video and thinking, oh, they're so much stronger than me. Oh, they go to the gym more than me. I just really, really try in this point in my life not to compare and it wasn't always that way. So that's why I wanted to mention it today, especially in a video like this, where I'm sure a lot of you guys are on a wellness journey. And I think that's an amazing thing. Obviously I'm a CPT, so I'm going to help and motivate anybody who is trying to work towards a healthier self. And I don't think that that's a bad thing by any means. I think it's an amazing thing to have wellness and fitness goals. Have I made mistakes in the past by having goals and motives that were driven by things that I felt were unhealthy to me? Yes, but I've reached a place in my life where I really just want to feel good. I want to live a long life. I want to try and avoid disease. I want to be mobile. And I just want to encourage anybody that is on a fitness journey to really focus on themselves and to find a meaning behind fitness and behind nutrition. Obviously we know nutrition can really help with our wellness and fitness can really help with our wellness. And I said at the beginning, I'm not a dietitian, so I can't give any sort of advice with nutrition. I can share my meals and fun recipe ideas and show some inspiration, but I'm just not certified in that area. I am certified as a CPT, so I did wanna give a couple of tips in today's video because like I said, nutrition and fitness do go hand in hand. And if that's something that you're not looking for in this video of talking about fitness right now is not going to be positive to you then just switch out of this video it's totally fine but i did want to give just a few tips as somebody that is on a fitness journey and has been and i just want to leave you guys with a couple of tips that i feel like have been really really helpful for me lately and just always starting with if you are starting a fitness or wellness journey of some sort do not overwhelm yourself don't feel like you have to overwhelm yourself with all of these habits or feel like you have to learn every little thing about fitness and wellness and nutrition and life and healthy habits all in one week time or one month time. It's gonna take a lot of time. You also have to be able to adapt and learn new information and be okay with the fact that this is a journey. This is gonna take a long time. So enjoy the journey. I always try and say that if you add something into your life, like say you have a workout routine and you really wanna to get to the gym five days a week and it's just not working with your schedule, it's too much right off the bat, you physically feel like it's too much for your body because you haven't been working out for a long time, don't feel like you can't adapt. 
and change to two days a week or one day a week. One workout, one recipe at home, one vegetable added is better than none. And I always try to have that mindset towards myself because I feel like when you're kind to yourself and encouraging, it makes the process so much more enjoyable. And that's my second tip, which is actually enjoy the process of whatever journey it is that you're on. If it's wellness, if it's fitness, these are things that you should be enjoying. These are things that are additions to our life. It's a happy thing. Moving your body is a happy thing, so listen to your body. If you try running and it's really hurting your knees, it's really hurting your shins, you've been doing it for a while and you feel like it's just not feeling good, you're not feeling your endurance grow, maybe that's not the workout that is best for you. And I've tried so many different workouts in my life and I feel like I always run back to the ones that just mentally make me happiest because that's the workout that's gonna get you to the gym. So that's my third tip, is lean into those things that you love. For me, I have those recipes that I make every single week and I honestly don't get sick of them and I don't just not make them because I have them all the time. I lean into that and I continue to make them because I know that I'll crave them and I'll want them and if they're in my fridge, I'll eat them. The second thing is workouts. For me, I am obsessed with spin. Spin is one of those workouts that I go, I fully mentally escape. I love chatting with other people about spin. It's literally one of my biggest passions. And that was the first workout cardio wise that I've ever done that got me to continue to do cardio on a regular basis and actually enjoy it. I'm not even somebody that really likes to go on walks and do low steady state cardio or do the 12 3 30 or go on the Stairmaster for five minutes. I just do not like cardio. And this is the first time in my life I've found a style of cardio that I really, really love. And obviously if you watch my vlogs, you know that it's turned into me going to spin every single week. And I've talked to a lot of other people and this is the exact same thing for them. Once they find something they love, whether it's Pilates, yoga, lifting, workout classes, cross training, CrossFit, when you find what you love, you stick to it. And every single fitness journey is going to reach your results with being consistent and continually showing up for yourself. And you can absolutely do that when you find the things that you really, really enjoy and don't be afraid to try new things out. Just be easy on yourself. If you don't love it, it's fine. Just because I love something doesn't mean you have to love something. We're all on our own journeys and we're all on our own path to feeling our best. And it's going to take different time for different people. So I just want to leave you guys with that today and give you guys some tips. Because I know I can't give a lot of tips in today's video. But I hope that you guys got something from this video. And I will definitely, definitely be filming more. Let me know if you liked the style of this video. If you want to see more what I eat in a week. So maybe what I eat in a day is where I'm talking to the camera and like hanging out with you guys or maybe it just wasn't your favorite thing in the world let me know or I could also do like a what I worked out in a week that would actually be kind of fun and maybe do it like vlog style I'm gonna try and mix up the vlogs maybe do one vlog a week and then one kind of topic video like this but yeah I just hope you guys enjoyed today's video let me know I will talk to you guys on Wednesday I hope you have the best week and I love you